good day everyone. We are the reporters from Group 1. I am Marian de los Reyes and with me are Bahande Jan Carlos, Jong Mark Jumari, Carnita Sistagani and the Guzman Carl Paul. And we will be discussing the Article 1 of the Philippines, a century hence or the Filipinas then tradition annual. Next slide please. Next to the day. Introduction. Philippines, a century hand is and is a written by our national hero, Dr. Ceresa. He wrote this essay to predict the future years of the Philippines, specifically within a hundred years. The result of that is, it was time to remind him that the circumstances that ushered in the French Revolution can have a telling effect for her in the Philippines. Next slide, please. Article 1, first stanza. Following our usual custom of facing squarely the most difficult and delicate questions relating to the Philippines, without weighing the consequences that our frankness may bring upon us, we shall in the present article think of their future. So in this stanza, Jose Rizal elaborated that we Filipinos should weigh our position depending on the consequences that we face in doing on doing the decisions. And also we should treat our present on how we want our future to become. The next stanza is in order to read the destiny of a people, it is necessary to open the book of its past and this so the Philippines may be reduced in general terms to what follows. Scarcely they had had they been attached to the Spanish crown than they had to sustain with their blood and the efforts of their son the wars and ambitions of conquest of Spanish people. And in this struggle, in the terrible crisis when people changes its form of government, its laws, usages, customs, religion, beliefs of the Philippines, we depopulated, impoverished, and retarded caught in their metamorphosis without confidence in their past, that fade in their present and with no fun the years to come. So in this stanza, he explained that what the what Filipinos sacrificed and made for the Spaniards and how it feels being in the hands of the Spaniards and it means shedding blood and effort in times of wars and when Spaniards want to get our country from us. And reading also from the past discussion, before the Spaniards came, we already have the government, the beliefs, the religion, and others. But when Spaniards came, they changed the rulings in the Philippines. They made us believe that Filipinos are uncivilized. People, uh, people were back there before they, before they came. And when in fact, we already have governments and religion way back before they came. And it is written in a lot of books or sources that when Magellan came, he met um, a lot of Rahat, and that is a proof that we already have a government before they came. But when Spaniards came, they changed our government, the religion, and they influenced a lot of languages in different provinces or regions in the Philippines, and, um, and also the laws. And during those times, when they changed the civilization of the Philippines, a lot of Filipinos lost their hope and also the faith in our country. And the next stanza is, the former rulers had merely endeavored to secure the fear and submission of their subjects habituated by them to servitude, feel like leaves from that tree and the people who had no love for them nor knew what liberty was. If they changed masters, perhaps hoping to gain something by the innovation. 
So, in this sense, it stated that Filipinos inside the ruling of Spaniards became hopeless. We became nothing, even though this is our motherland. And Spaniards forgot the, liber the liberty that we deserve. Then Philippines quickly changed them out. I mean, Spaniards quickly changed the masters, and they easily controlled us. To begin a new era for the Filipinos, they gradually lost their ancient traditions, their recollections, they forgot their writings, their songs, their poetry, their laws, in order to learn by hurt others the frame, which they, they did not understand other ethics, other tastes different from those inspired in their race by their climate and their way of thinking. Then there was a falling off. They, they were lowered and in their own eyes. They become ashamed of what was distinctively incomprehensible. Their spirit was bro broken and they so this is in this in, in this in instance, in this era, the Filipino lost their tradition. They even forgot their writings, song, poetry, and laws. Because of what they did, they felt lowered and ashamed, thus their spirit was broken. So in instance, those years and centuries roll in, roll on, re religious shows, right codes. The eye, song, light, images, I read with gold, worship and strange language, legends, miracles and sermons, hypnotize the already naturally superstition spirit of the of the country but did not succeed in destroying it altogether in spite of whole system afterwards develop and operate with Annealing financity. So this stanza, a surplus by religious show, and hypnotized the spirit of country, but did not succeed in destroying it altogether. Next. And when the ethical abasement of of the inhabitants had reached this stage when they had become disheartened and disgusted with themselves. An effort was made to add a final stroke for reducing so many dormant wills and intellects to nothing, nothingness in order to make the individual a sort of toiler, a brood, a beast of burden, and a developed a race without mind or heart. Then, the end shock was revealed. It was taken for granted. The race was insulted. An effort was made to deny it every virtue, every human characteristic. And there were even writers and priests who pushed the movement still further by trying to deny to the natives of the country not only the capacity and virtue, but also the event and tendency to vice. In this stanza, the in this stanza, the Spaniards push push the movement to deny ourselves, our natives, to learn our characteristics and our virtue every. And uh, our race was insulted. Then this which they had thought would be death was sure salvation. Some dying person are restored to health by heroic remedy. Next please. So 
so great endurance reach its climax with the insult and the lethargic spirit walk to life. His sensitiveness, the chief trait of native, was touched, and while he had the forbearance to suffer and die under the foreign flag, he had it not with the whom he served repaid his sacrifice with insults and deeds. Then he began to study himself and realize his misfortune. Those who had not expected this result, like this small take master, regarded as a wrong every compliance, every protest, and every punish it with death. In devouring that sacrifice, is every cry of sorrow with blood, and they have mistake after mistake. In this stanza, even he, he has, uh, even he can re repaid his sacrifice, and do his misfortune. And in this stanza, also every protest will cause death to endeavoring those. Still, every cry, every cry with your blood, and that's all. Next to hell. <laughs> okay, in this stanza, the spirit of the people was not thereby cowed, and even though it had been awakened in only a few hearts, its flame nevertheless was surely and consuming propagated. Thanks to abuse and the stupid endeavors of certain classes to stifle noble and generous sentiments. Thus, when a flame catches a garment, fear, uh, fear and confusion propagate it more and more. And each shake, each bow, is a blast from the bellows, bellows of bellows to fan it into life. So, in, so that <coughs> that discusses that the that the hope of the Filipinos are, are are growing because they say the flame the flame catches the garment so it, it always it they they not afraid they're not afraid that they have uh, they they got um uh, they have they have so they have to like like to fight even if we are we are Abuses by thy stupid endeavors. So the next stanza. Undoubtedly, during all this time, there were not lacking generals and noble spirit among the dominant race that tried to struggle for the rights of humanity and justice, or sordid and cowardly ones among the dominated that aided the debasement of their own country. But both were exceptions and. We we are speaking in terms. <clears throat> so here the Filipinos, I, there are some Filip noble spirit said Filipinos, and another race that try to struggle the rights of humanity. So they trying to bring back the justice in the place or in the country. So so Filipinos have has the rights, rights rights of justice and humanity. Such an outline of their past, we know their present. Now, what will their future be? Next. Learn the Philippine silence of dignity and Spanish politics, and if so, what kind of politics? Become a prophet of the Philippines. Thank you. 